Reporting for us from Washington, D.C., Republican Congressman Tom Cole says Jeff Sessions did nothing wrong, and Democrats are hyperventilating over the entire situation. The congressman joins us now, and you heard Peter say that there are calls already from Democrats that Secretary Sessions should resign. I mean, even Nancy Pelosi. I want to read you the quote from her statement. Attorney General Sessions lies to the Senate and to the American people, make him unfit to serve as the chief law enforcement officer of our country. He must resign immediately. This seems far too much for where this all is at this point, is it not? It does. Look, I, I think my friends on the other side of the aisle are having a hard time figuring out why they lost the election. They lost the election because they had a flawed candidate and they ran a bad campaign. And uh, they're having a difficult time coming to grips with that. Uh, there's no evidence that uh, the Trump campaign did anything inappropriate. There's frankly no convincing evidence that the Russians were successful in impacting the election. They certainly did appear to have tried to tamper with it to some degree. Uh, and there's just no evidence, again, uh, that uh, Jeff Sessions did anything at all wrong. He might not have communicated as fully or clearly as he should have, but he's set the record straight. He's told us what happened, and he's made sure that he won't be part of any investigation that might need to occur in the future. I don't know what else you could ask him to do. Well, could we ask this question of the Attorney General? Uh, we know he met with the Russian Ambassador Kislyak uh, on September 8th. Other members of the committee were not approached by the Russians. Why would the Russians approach Senator Sessions, or at least then Senator Sessions? Wouldn't they have preferred maybe the chairman? I have no earthly idea. I actually asked my scheduler, how many uh, ambassadors have we talked to since the beginning of 2016? She went back and looked. She said uh, 12 or 13, depending on how you want to call it. So it's not an uncommon thing. Uh, you know, why they would particularly want to talk to Senator Sessions, I don't know. But I don't put anything uh, particularly, uh, you know, serious in, in that regard, or sinister, I should say. Uh, look, I think he, there were a couple of witnesses there. He had met with staff people there. If people feel like they need to be deposed or make statements, I suppose they should. But again, I just see no convincing evidence that contradicts what the senator said occurred. And, and I guess the next question, though, would be, what did you talk about with the Russian ambassador? Is that the kind of thing that perhaps Congress should have a hearing to ask that question? Or, as the Democrats are calling for, should there be some kind of independent investigator to ask that question? Well, I don't think we need an independent investigator when there's no evidence that anybody did anything wrong. I think Senator Sessions uh, recalled as best he could today in his press conference uh, about uh, the nature of the discussion, had to do with the Ukraine, had to do with uh, issues. Uh, and he was asked, did you talk about the campaign? He said, you know, I don't recall, but uh, ambassadors are pretty gossipy. And, and that's true. I mean, uh, look, I, in the meetings I've had with ambassadors, there's usually a mix of something that ha relates very specifically to the relationship between our country and their country, sometimes a request. And then occasionally they'll ask about politics or trying to understand a political process. That's a long way from colluding with somebody to impact an election. Sure. And I just don't well, see any evidence. Very Sessions quickly, did that. Congressman, did the secretary make a mistake by recusing himself if there's no there there? I don't. I, I don't think he did. I think you want to make sure there's no doubt. You, you walk the extra mile. I think that's what the attorney general did today. And uh, I think he was right to do so. I refer to him as secretary, and you're absolutely right, correcting me, Attorney General. Thank you very much, Congressman Cole. Appreciate your being here.